who perhaps has something to go for today because due to the wind he missed out on the eight final in the 1000 meters it's Canadian Adam Van Kuberden. we have Lockie Tame who sat next to Adam here yesterday in the commentary box and we have some really really fast guys we have Tomisovic from Serbia who uh, has has been on form and has some really really good results in uh, in the 1000 meters he came fifth so he's looking good Stoinski, he was in the K4 last week and he's uh, changed tactics a little bit for Germany to see how fast he can go. Of course, we have two Germans in this race. Kasper Bleibach, he's been around an awful long time now for Denmark, 30 years old, uh, finalist in London 12 uh, Olympic Games. And uh, his best result so far is in the European 2008, won the gold medal. Lockie, t tell me about him. Little Lockie, he had a flyer in the semi final the other day and he's really looking forward to racing well. Pretty excited to race against Adam. Adam's the master of this event, you know, and uh, with Ken Wallace sitting out from the A final today, I think uh, Lockie and Adam will give it a good nudge, especially you've got some great names in this race. Rene Polson, he's uh, looking to have a better result than the 1,000 yesterday as well. So, Yeah, Rene was stuck out in, um, in one of the outside lanes yesterday as well. So, Ma Max Hoff, who clearly uh, has been dominating so far, he told me it wasn't as easy as it looked, but he's been doing very, very well, won the... 1,000 meter of Kochev from Bulgaria has some uh, 23 years old and some good records to his name. And outside we have Estonia. He was uh, ninth in the final last week, but did make the final of the K1 500 meters, but slightly off the pace. So conditions great, hopefully a good time. And let's see who's going to win. You can see how still it is out there. The flags in the bottom of the screen aren't moving at all. So fair Adderall. start. Adam Vancouver in your picture, say he has the fastest time of all. He is a gold, Olympic gold medal winner. Yeah, 10 years ago he won the K1 500 in Athens, so he's very experienced in this race. And little Lockie Tame has really taken it out fast and hard. He has to. He's a, a 200 specialist, so the rating's up and, you know, he's put a boat length into the guys already. So Lockie was on the water about 40 minutes ago, just going through the paces in the B final of the K1 200. But there he is in your picture. Yeah, he's got the speed sun, he's on, he's looking good, he's... He's only a little fella, but he's got really good power to weight ratio, and he seems to be giving it to the guys here. So the 500 is a it's is, is a great blending pot event because you've got the 200 guys and the 1,000 guys. The 200 guys will be going out hard, and the 1,000 guys will probably be uh, probably be kicking about halfway and trying to come through at the end. Well, halfway through, it looks like Rennie Holden Paulson is coming back. He has tactics this year with a new coach, but Lockie's can he hold on? Go, Lockie. Yeah, Rene Paulson, obviously very good at this event too. Adams hanging in there. The guys at the bottom of the screen, you can't count them out at the moment. So Lockie, Lockie's race plan is to go out hard and just try and hold on. Well, certainly he's doing that, but it looks, unfortunately for him, it looks like Rennie Holton Paulson clawing him back as they approach the last 100 metres with the red, the red boys. So here we go. Rene looks so good. He's such a... Oh, look at him. He's, really, he's really overtaken. Relaxed. Really relaxed technique, really good leg drive. Kirchhoff at the bottom of your screen has maybe something to say in this, but so far, 60 metres to go. Rennie Holton Paulson perhaps wants it the most. Adam's coming back at him. Bulgarian lane eight. Well, there we have Bailey. Clear cut in the end. First, Rennie Holton Paulson puts his hand in the air. Uh, it's, a, it's a good win. He's had a, he had a tough race yesterday. He'd be very happy to come back with a good result today. Well done. And second place, Miroslav Kutchen came through. And Adam Vancouverden, excellent, is on the place where he deserves, which is the, uh, the, the ceremony podium, which we'll see a bit later. Adam's such a technician. He's, I, I think he's the greatest, greatest paddler technically. He just looks, looks so fluid all the time. The great Max Hoff, unbeaten in the K1000 quite some time now. So good names in that event. Great conditions. Look how glassy it is. Rene just showing it how it's done. So, so far in the three World Cups, which is the third of three, we're in Milan, and that was Dombri Novari from Hungary who won that one. He's had a bit of an illness, unfortunately, this week. Not great timing for the local guy. Then we had Josef Dostal last week, and this week we have Rene Holt and Paulson. So it shows us a good depth of field across, across the athletes. Definitely, and the, and the guys back up, they do the 500, the 1,000, and a lot of them are in team boats as well, so big programs for them all. And it's just great to be racing. Confirmation of, of the official results for the K1 500 meters. Rene Holton Paulson takes gold for Denmark. Kerchev, Bulgaria takes silver. Adam Van Kruvenden for Canada takes bronze with Hoff and Lucky Tame in fifth. Tutsi Stronsky, Blybach, and Tomisovic this time. Time's looking uh, kind of ab average out there. Not